Hello everyone and welcome to Quality Old Games. Today we are having a short guide to Romano British faction in Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion or Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion Remastered. And as you can see, the Romano British faction starts without any cities. The initial army with which it spawns is rather Decent, with Graal Knights and Sarmation Auxilia, for example. Some British Legionaries too. But then again, you need to fight against Romans, most likely, initially. And the highest risk going for you at the beginning is that you only have the faction leader. So, if he is killed in combat, uh, you will pretty much automatically lose. So you need to take good care of him, so that you can continue playing. And I think the initial steps for you should be taking these two cities, Londinium and Eburacum. They both are included in victory conditions, alongside with Avaricum. And in addition to these three, you need to hold another 11 settlements. And for the uh, and actually your financial situation is rather good here, so you can afford to buy a decent amount of mercenaries, and there should also be some of them available. And with these help of these mercenaries, I think you are in a rather good position to take, for example, Londinium here, even with auto-resolving battles. And uh, actually the spawning place of your initial army uh, is not set. So it's randomized somewhere. I have uh, spawned one uh, starting army here, another somewhere around here, and now we spawned next to Londinium. Well, when you have managed to secure these two settlements, I think you will be somewhat safe from the Romans. They are going to have their hands full with uh, many enemies in the battle map, so it's unlikely that they will ship a large army across uh, the sea here to the British Isles. But you will need to face Celts, and they will grow quite a bit stronger than these, these initial starting units there. You will most likely be facing a large army of them marching against Eburacum rather soon. And after you have secured two of these cities, or even only one of them, you need to make a strategic decision. Will you first try to secure the whole British Isles? Practically that means taking these uh, four settlements, driving the Romans off the uh, British Isles and also wiping out the Celts. That's maybe somewhat safer route to advance in the campaign, but um, at the same time uh, the Romans are gathering strength here and also the barbarians are moving westward. And as you can see the Vandals here, they are quite strong and they will be driving deep into the Roman territory. And you don't want to be fighting against Vandals. They might be a perfect distraction for the Romans, but um, uh, I, I don't think you will have at least soon enough strength to face against any of these barbarian hordes. So I think haste or speed is important for you. And um, usually some of the Roman cities, especially here, in their kind of secured areas are rather lightly defended. For example, Avaricum here. Uh, I don't think there are more than several units there, maybe two or three, even if you are lucky. So I would encourage you to sail across the sea here and see if you can capture Samaro Priva, or if not, then head directly towards Avaricum. And um, 
If you manage to surprise these cities so that they are lightly defended, uh, you can exterminate the populaces and improve your financial situation quite a bit. Uh, you will be spawning additional armies, uh, let's say every about 10 turns or so, maybe a bit fewer, somewhere around this area here. So you will be uh, provided cheap reinforcements, which of course will wreck your financial situation, income, expenses, balance. But you will get free troops, and since the uh, negative balance here doesn't affect too much in uh, barbarian invasion, you can of course utilize the extra troops as best you can think of. But uh, you can uh, get to the positive balance here if you keep pushing fast and deep to the Roman territories. So basically Avaricum will give you about 20,000 denarii as loot, and Samaro Priva Burdikala, Arles, Massilia, maybe from 5 to 10,000 denarii, and if you manage to get into Italy, Mediolanium, Ravenna, Rome, likely Tarentum as well, they will provide that 20,000. And the cities in Spain, I guess they will be somewhere mostly in between 5 and 10,000. So you will get most of your funds from moving aggressively against the Western Roman Empire. Because uh, it has many enemies, it will likely have to deal with Vandals, for example, in several turns. There will be Western Roman Empire rebels likely. Perhaps the Eastern Roman Empire will attack it and it's likely uh, at war against the Berbers here. So uh, the Western Roman Empire needs to take care of many things. And that gives you the opportunities to strike hard and to strike deep into their territory. And with the finances you can get there, you uh, get from there as loot, you can further finance your advancement in here. For example, for hiring mercenaries or training those Sarmatian auxilias, which are superb units, and I think almost every one of these cities here will have the basic stable building so you can uh, right away retrain your Sarmatian auxilias and train some new ones. So in my opinion the Roman or British tactics are all about haste or speed and if you decide to go south against the Romans uh, then you can utilize the armies or army that spawns here to fight against the Celts or even recapture Eburacum or Londinium if you lose them. It's likely that if you go to south you will lose Eburacum because you don't have enough defensive troops here. But with the first or second spawned army I think you can easily recapture it and then try to push the Celts out from the main island and then follow them to Tara and capture it. Of course, um, this kind of tactics is not only dancing on the roses, because the estimated difficulty is very hard. And despite you are getting free armies, the Romans by no means uh, simply accept that you are taking their territory. They have rather large armies around the map here already, and these will uh, move against your uh, freshly conquered cities. So it's important that you don't get bogged down, for example, in the first city, be it Sabaro, Priva or Avaricum that you capture. You need to keep moving, because if your main army gets besieged here by a full Roman army, it will take several turns for the enemy to build siege equipment, and then it will attack, and you will likely win the battle, but um, then the Romans or the barbarian hordes are so much more advanced or in a better position and you are starting to lag behind, even though you are getting those free armies periodically there. So keep the momentum going, that's very important for you. You likely will lose some of the cities there. And uh, if you can hold 
some cities for example uh, these having large stone walls or stone walls then try to hold them they can repel quite large roman armies even with quite uh, small garrisons but uh, the main force your main force likely consisting mostly cavalry and mercenaries needs to keep going on against uh, the romans to capture new cities to gain enough money to finance your uh, defensive purposes and also to finance your ongoing aggression. So this basically is it. I don't think you should try to improve too much the infrastructure in cities. You get most of what you need when you capture those cities. Uh, usually you don't need uh, any barracks or archery ranges so you can demolish them and uh, if you are moving aggressively the public order won't be too much of an issue for you even if your governors and faction leaders are of different religion of the cities so basically once again just keep pushing forward that's the way to go with romano british what do you think of this advice do you disagree or agree Let's share your thoughts in the comment field I think we can have a really fine discussion there. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That will help a great deal. Have a great rest of the day. Quality Old Games out.